Hey guys, what's going on? It's Louie Louie here, and today I have a very exciting review for you guys. I am going to be checking out Butterfly's newest blade, the Revaldia CNF, that stands for Cellulose Nanofiber. Um, so I'm going to be trying this blade out on the table, telling you guys how it plays, and giving you my overall thoughts on it. Um, just some first looks. Uh, it has a really nice design, a little stripe of orange on the handle. Um, the size of the handle feels really nice, comfortable, um, just like you'd expect with any high-end uh, premium blade from Butterfly. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about what this new CNF is. Now this is the first blade ever to be using this um, technology, the cellulose nanofiber. And basically what it is, is a wood pulp um, placed where a layer of carbon fiber would normally go. So it's just a new type of fiber. And what it's supposed to do, supposedly, is give the blade an all wood feeling on the low end shots, so when you're like pushing, uh, playing short touches, serving, even blocking, it's supposed to have that like really solid, stable, all wood feeling. But, uh, but then at the higher end, when you're looping, um, playing powerful shots, flipping, um, it's supposed to play like a fast carbon fiber blade. So it's supposed to have the best of both worlds. And like I said, it's the first blade ever um, to be using this technology, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays. Aside from that, it's just a typical 5 plus 2 construction, so it's got 5 layers of regular wood and then the 2 layers of the CNF. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the other layers of wood are, it's not listed anywhere on Butterfly's website. Um, but if I can figure that out, I'm going to put it up on screen now. For rubbers, I'm going to be using Tenergy 05 hard on my forehand and Dignix 05 on the backhand, so just a pretty typical um, butterfly setup. There are a couple of things I want to check starting with how much this weighs. It feels like a very light blade so I would expect it to be um, at the very least under 90 grams. I don't remember what it said on Butterfly's website but I'm expecting this to come in at the mid or low 80s. And yeah that's um, 83 grams. I can move the camera so you guys can see. Now it's 82. So yeah um, a pretty light blade. And then the other thing that I want to check really quickly is what the sweet spot feels like, um, how big the sweet spot is. Um, I know I'm not going to get the true feeling until I put rubbers on, but I'm just going to bounce the ball around. I'm going to bounce the ball around and kind of move it around and see how far out the sweet spot goes. And actually, it's bigger than I was expecting. Um, because it doesn't use carbon fiber um, and it's not super ZLC or anything because you know it's super, ZL, um, super ZLC the sweet spot goes like all the way to the edge of the racket. I was expecting this to be really small but even pretty far out um, like if I'm hitting pretty close to the butterfly logo or kind of close to the letters at the bottom there's still um, a decently sized sweet spot but it isn't as big as like the super ZLC once I really do start getting close to the edge you can tell um, that there's no sweet spot there, you're not going to be able to get normal power there. So um, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and glue this up. Alright, so let me go ahead and answer the question everyone is probably wondering, which is whether this blade is really as fast as a carbon fiber blade. And honestly, I'd say yes, it is. This blade is exactly what Butterfly said it would be. It feels quite soft on the low end shots, like blocking and pushing while having the extra gears at the high end that a true all wood blade just wouldn't have. But with that being said, this blade is still not as fast as the fastest carbon blades. It's not even close. A blade like a uh, Zhangjika Super ZLC or a Viscaria is going to be noticeably faster than the Revaldia on the high end shots like looping. But the Revaldia still, in my opinion, has more than enough speed to be sufficient while having that added benefit of increased touch and feeling. The vibration also feels very solid. It's noticeable enough to give you a great feeling on all the shots, while not being overwhelmingly high. The sweet spot, as I mentioned before, is smaller than it would be on a blade using a material like Super ZLC, but again, it still feels quite large and is more than big enough for pretty much any player. The dwell time is much longer than the dwell time you'd get with a stiff carbon fiber blade, which means that on all shots, whether it's serving, looping, or pushing, you are able to get a little bit more spin, which is something I was very happy about. The throw angle is quite low, which is something that I found was very beneficial, and it's actually something I really liked about the blade. 
It means when my loops landed, they often had the appearance or sensation of sticking to the table where the other player would try to counter loop, but the ball would just sink below their paddle and they would just swing and miss. That also means, however, the, um, the throw angle. The, when using this blade to play with power, you do have to know how to accelerate and how to spin the ball quite well. So if you don't have those fundamentals and you don't have that technique, it is very easy for your shots, um, your loops especially, to just kind of drop onto the net, drop into the net without making it onto the table. I also really quickly want to touch on just how comfortable this blade is. Butterfly is known for their good craftsmanship and this blade is no exception. The handle is quite small and the overall balance of the blade feels very good when you're hitting. It's also very light which means you are able to recover comfortably and quickly even after taking a big swing. Overall, I'd say this is a great blade. It's an attempt to get the best of both worlds in that it's got that nice, mushy, all-wood feeling when going for softer shots while being much more powerful than a true all-wood blade when playing higher-end shots like looping. While it is more powerful than an all-wood blade and even some blades that have carbon fiber such as an Interforce blade, it's definitely not as fast as the high-end outer layer carbon blades with Airlite or Super ZLC. With that being said, most players, especially younger players who are able to generate good power on their own, are not going to need the extra speed those other blades can offer and would probably benefit a lot from the touch and feeling that the Rivaldia provides. You do have to make sure you have good acceleration on your shots, but if you do, the increased dwell time, low throw angle, and great feeling means that you can produce some very high quality shots using this blade. If you're looking for a blade with wood-like feeling without the drawback of losing too much power, then this is definitely a blade you should check out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then make sure to drop a like and leave any questions that you have in the comment section down below. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. That's going to be all for today, so I will see you guys next time. Adios.